do a SQL injection attack. SQL is an SQL. Injection attack means we're injecting code that we shouldn't. We're attacking the server so we can get in. And then I'm going to show you how to prevent it. It's easy to prevent, kind of. This, t this technique is easy. Um, and it's really important. It's called sanitizing your input. Let's take a look at how we can use this badly. Uh, we're going to attempt to hack into Twitter. We're not going to be successful, hopefully. I haven't done this yet. Um, hopefully this won't. This will fail. Uh, the idea here is that there's a username and a password input. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an illegal character. I'm going to put a single quote in as my username and hit sign in and we'll see what happens. And with any luck, they should deny me that. Okay wrong username emails. That means they are catching it. Okay? So let's take a look at why that semicolon that, that single quote is bad. So if we form a normal so a form sends its information in the post, so we'll we'll call it, you know, user equals underscore post and then user, right? That's normally how you get the input. Then let's say we form a SQL uh, string. So we'll go um, my SQL underscore query and we'll say select user from users where user e actually we want to select uh, user and password or whatever where user equals and then we'll do user right now where user equals user and we'll leave it at that we'll forget about the password for now um, let's say we're checking the password later but this statement if I send this variable, if I send it that, that, that single quote, okay, so let's say that user equals now a single quote, right? Because that's what I sent it. I'm not sanitizing any input. So when we read this query, this will be that. And that's incorrect syntax. Um, that will actually, I wish my syntax highlighting would change here, but th there's three, there's three, uh, single quotes all together now. That actually closes the query. This will actually throw a SQL database error. Now, if I log in to Twitter with a single quote and it does throw me a SQL error, that means I know that the user who created the website is not sanitizing input, which means I could do something like this. I could know that they're not, so I would start with um, with a, semi, with a single quote, I would end the current statement, and then I would go, uh, wait, so I would say where user equals, and we'll say anything, right, in quotes, or x equals x, right? And that's a true statement, which is correct. Now, we won't close the last semicolon, the last quote, because it's going to be filled in here. So when we fill this in, right, right here we take a look at our input and now we have oh yeah we wouldn't open the first one we leave that one like that so now this is our input because we're not sanitizing it and this is what SQL statement we get where user equals anything or x equals x this will fail but this will succeed and this will now be a true SQL statement so you can see how if you don't sanitize your input, this is a SQL injection attack. Now I have access to the database. Now there's a lot of different things you can do. You keep going with this. You could test out what tables exist. You could even do something like this, where it's going to um, end that, and then I'll open a semicolon, and then say drop, you know, table users, if I knew what the table was. So now when I inject this code, not only does it give me access to the database, but it also completely drops and actually so this this will fail right here because of that extra semi extra quote so what we could do uh, we put the comment code in dash dash is a comment so that'll put this in so it'll comment this out so that doesn't matter now so now this is now valid SQL that logs me into the database because X equals X and it drops the whole table so you can see how I'm attacking the database very harmfully so how can we stop this we don't want this to happen to our websites so we use a function called mysql real escape string now what this will do is I will say user equals my SQL real escape string that that's sanitizing the input that means when this comes through right so if, if this was my statement when this came through after my SQL real escape string came through
ev all these single quotes would be replaced with, so if this was our code, this would now be, that would have a backslash, that would have a backslash, that would have a backslash. Um, I'm not sure what it does with the commas, but so, so this would be our new statement here. It might it might uh, get rid of those. I think it does. I think it does get rid of the dashes. Uh, so now we have this statement, which is a correct, which is now a correct statement, but these won't hurt the database. This is literally a string that it's looking for now. So now you can't hurt the database with this single quote. Single quotes kill the the the. And if you've ever coded my SQL queries in PHP, you've messed up with a PHP uh, single quote somewhere, and that you need to stop. You need to not have that anywhere. So you need to clean your you need you need to sanitize your input everywhere so that nowhere in in your website in your forms can a SQL inject occur. There are thousands of other ways to do injections, but this is just one very popular one that everyone needs to look out for.